Now, Finland's main uh, centre-right national coalition party has won the most seats in Sunday's parliamentary election, making its leader, uh, Petteri Orpo, likely to become the country's new prime minister. Mr Orpo defeated Prime Minister at Sanna Marin's centre-left Social Democrat. Ema McCarthy reports. Relief and celebrations for Petteri Orpo after a nail-biting election. You can see that I'm very happy. This, this was a great victory for Kokomus. I think that Finnish people won't change. They won't change and now I will start negotiations, open negotiations with all parties. Mr Orpo and his National Coalition Party claimed victory late on Sunday with 20.8% of the vote, ahead of the right-wing populist Finns party and a swing away from the centre-left Social Democrats. It's a bitter defeat for Prime Minister Sanna Marin, even though her party looks set to increase its share of seats in Parliament. This is a great day because we've done well in the elections. Congratulations also to the coalition party and to the Finns. Democracy has spoken, the Finnish people have cast their votes and celebrating democracy is always a wonderful thing. Miss Marin became the world's youngest prime minister when she burst onto the political scene in 2019. Now at 37, she steered the country to within days of NATO membership and has been praised for Finland's response to neighbouring Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. But at home, she's become a polarising figure. She came under scrutiny last year when a video emerged of her singing, dancing and drinking at a party, as well as her government's public spending. For Mr Orpo, it's now down to business, as he vows to fix Finland. I want to build trust and cooperation between parties and, and build up the strong uh, majority government. Ema McCarthy, BBC News. And uh, Alec Neum, a political editor at Finland's MTV News Network, spoke earlier to my colleague Victoria Valentine. Well, this was clearly a thumb down for, from the Finnish nation to the current government. And this means the National uh, Coalition Party, its big uh, team of its politics has been the economy and especially more discipline into using state money, even significant budget cuts. But now it's up to who they will form the coalition government with. Is it the Finns party or the Social Democrats? But in any way, especially the economic policy will steer towards right. How easy will it be to build a coalition, do you think? It might be a little difficult this time. Uh, the National Coalition Party will seek a uh, coalition, probably it will try it with the Finns parties, but they have several uh, disagreements about immigration, about European Union, about climate policies. Then, on the other hand, they, they could also try to, to find a coalition with the Social Democrats, but there they will have huge disagreements about the economics, since Social Democrats uh, have not been uh, pro-budget cuts during the campaigns. So there could be a month, could be two months, to find the government, but at the same time, there are these two different um, possibilities. So it could be a little harder than usually in Finland, but definitely not impossible. In terms of Finnish politics, several of the sort of most popular figures actually have convictions for race related offences. Do you think the National um, Party will, will, will sort of be willing to take the reputational hit for having a far right populist party in government? That's a very good question, and there has been disagreements about that inside the National Coalition Party. But at the same time, the Finns party, the right-wing populist party, has done effort to change itself into more um, ready to be in the government. It has tried to uh, not gain public attentions about these different scandals, different racist slogans, uh, racist outcomes. So um, it is really possible that the Finns could come into the government. They have many times compared themselves to, for example, the Social Democrats in Denmark. But we also know they are. They could be compared to the Sverige Demokraterna in Sweden. Uh, but it is indeed possible that they could form a government with the National Coalition Party.